This video is going to be on the meaning of slope and the y-intercept in context of the problem. So when you're looking at a graph, what does the slope actually mean and what does the y-intercept actually mean? Remember that slope, our m value, is the change in y divided by the change of x. And remember that our y-intercept, or our b value, is when our x value equals 0. Or it's also known as the starting value. So let's take a look at the first example. Here's a graph where our y values, our y-axis, is the height of a tree in feet. And our x-axis is the years since planting. So first of all, I'm going to figure out the slope. Again, slope is going to be our change in y divided by our change of x. This point right here is at 4. The y value for this point is at 14, so our change in y is actually going up 10. So our change in y is a positive 10. Our change of x is then going from an x value of 0 to an x value of 5. So our change in x is 5. We always want to simplify this down, and we're going to get 2 as our answer. So what does this mean for the problem? Once we know that our slope is 2, we are still looking at our change in y. So the height of the tree is our change in y, is increasing by 2, and that's feet, every year, every one year since planting. So we could say it like that, or you could, if you're trying to make more sense out of it, it means that the tree grows two feet every year. Thinking about the y-intercept, we already said it was right here. It was 4. So our b value here is 4. And what does that mean for the problem? Well, years since planting, that is our x value. So when x is 0, that means as right when you planted it. Years since planting is 0 years since planting. So when you plant the tree or planted the tree, it was 4 feet tall. take a look at another example. On this one, we have our y-axis is bank balance in dollars and our x-axis is time in months. So again, making a, look, uh, making a slope triangle, our change of y now is going to go from 150 down to 130. That is a change of negative 20. Our change of x is going from 2 to 4, which is now a positive 2, so our slope is negative 10. So with a slope of negative 10, again, looking at the, the what our y-axis and x-axis is actually representing, our change in y is $10, and it's a negative $10, so it's actually going down. $10 every one month. So the bank balance is going down or decreases by $10 every month. Again, looking at our y-intercept, 
Our y-intercept here is 170. So again, that's when our x value is zero. So at time zero, or when you first put the money in the bank, you have $170. And one more example. See if you can do this one on your own. You can try pausing it and taking a look at your slope and y-intercept and making sense of it. Okay, I'm going to go through and figure out my slope triangle, the change in y. It's going up from 44 to 88. That is an increase of 44. is going to the right from 2 to 4. That is a change of x of 2. That means your slope is 22. So making sense of what this means is going to be the distance in miles is increasing by 22 for every 1 a gallon of gas. It does not specifically state on here if that's how far you're traveling or what. We just know that it's the distance is 22 miles for every one or just every gallon of gas. On this one, our y-intercept is at zero. So When the distance is zero miles, there's zero gas. So I'm guessing it would represent the amount of gas used per distance, but it doesn't specifically state that for the problem. So we're just gonna go with that. Hope that helps.